The hell of preseason is over. Season 8 is here. And I'm here to tell you how to get the best possible start for your new ranked season. Basically, some things you should know, some things you should take into consideration with the whole rank reset and your new placements. Number one, most importantly, know that you will place lower than you finished last season. Every year, without fail, you see people complaining about their placements, gold players being placed in silver, diamonds into plat, etc. The thing is, it's like complaining that a girl blocked you because your opening line on her was, hey girl, dem some nice titties. There's no need to complain about it because that's just exactly what's going to happen. The soft reset is there to give you somewhat of a fresh start for the new season. It's not meant to place you exactly where you left off, else what would be the point of the reset? Not only that, but considering that the highest you can place is Platinum 1, it makes a lot of sense then that if Challenger players, who can be upwards of almost like 2,000 LP higher than Plat 1, if they get placed so much lower into that Plat, you can see why you get dropped down a few spots as well. Number two, it really doesn't matter where you place. In fact, you can view it like the Limbo World Championships. The lower you go, the better. I'll explain more about that in a little bit. Ultimately, if you're worried that you'll get stuck in a lower elo because you got placed there, well then I'm sorry to say you probably don't deserve to be in that higher rank. If you're better than the rank you are in, you will climb over time, 100% guaranteed. And to talk about why I personally view being placed lower as a good thing, it's because I mean I can chill out and have a bit more fun, you know, maybe practice some different champions. Remember, you have a whole year to climb. It doesn't really matter how you start. As my girlfriend always says, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but it's not a race. Also shave your balls. Number three, if you are really worried about your placements, duo queue with a buddy. It's one less dingus on your team, one more person you can rely on. Also, and this is the most important thing, if placements are extra stressful for you, like they very well may be, make sure your duo queue is someone that brings you back down to earth. Don't duo with someone who has a short temper, weak mental, or is really high strung. You want someone who you can play with and chill out with above all else. Number four, the early season quality of games are, in my personal experience and opinion, easily the worst of the whole year. The reason being that you'll get a whole smorgasbord of player skill levels in each game, making it a bit of a fiesta on each side. The teams are usually balanced on paper, but the individual matchups of players can create some really one-sided games where the diamond player gets fed off of his gold lane opponent and so on. God damn it, Chad. Eventually the ranks will even out to a point where the games are pretty equal, but that may take a few months. So if you're not in any rush, you can just wait to play your placements. And number five, our last point today. At the end of the day, yes, this is a new season, but it's still the same beast you've been wrestling for all of last year. And I'm not talking about the shameful incident involving your mother and a door that should have been locked. The biggest issue I see when it comes to new season is that people overthink stuff and let it get to them a little bit too much. They trip over in their own minds. The new season is a chance for a fresh start, which is great, but don't stray too far from the things that brought you success in the previous year, because chances are they'll work just the same here too. Anyway, I could, you know, drag this shit out and try and make it 10 minutes so that I'm rolling in the money and I can sleep on a pile of cash, but I don't really have much else to say, and I'm also too lazy to try and drag this thing out, so I think we'll wrap it up here. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, you can leave a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to me for all of your League of Legends content desires. Don't forget to go follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Those are down below in the description. Most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Best of luck in your placements. And I will see you in my next video.